Hello again, YouTubers. Just uh, another very clear and hot, beautiful day here in the Philippines all day long. It was just a blue skies. And I'm just showing you the time. It's 4.35 p.m. It's 90 and a half, almost 91 degrees actually. On the 15th of April. So, yeah, it was a hot one today, but and not much breeze. So, it's either you're going to be in the water or you're going to be in air con. I was in air con most of the afternoon. So, from 10 a.m. to 4, 4.30, people are in the shade or in air con or somewhere they can be protected from the heat, the humidity, and the sun. But as you can see right now, my son John's having a wonderful time in the pool again. He's autistic, right? And uh, his birthday is in just a couple days here. And we're gonna go to the beach on his birthday on the 20th, another five days, and he'll be 22 years old. So yeah, that's his fav most favorite thing to do in this earth is swim. Like I was saying before, this is that's the main reason I built this pool for him. So he would have uh, somewhere he could go every single day for a couple hours a day and which he swims most most every day you know so he has a great time in the pool and he he loves the ocean too once you get him there you can't get him out just like leonardo the other day when we went it's hard to keep the kids out of the out of the water uh, especially at the beach you know right on the shore they love playing in the sand and stuff yeah it's awesome so yeah just uh it's kind of a lazy day today. We're kind of recovering from Little Best birthday party yesterday and just doing some laundry and we went to Mapong and I got some uh, medication, some antibiotic for my one tooth in the back that it's uh, one of the, the rear teeth are your, your double root teeth. So it's a lot harder to pull so when you're drilling out the roots and stuff to get that tooth out, it's pretty tough usually. And uh, then someday in the future, I either will or I won't get uh, implants. We'll see. Implants, I've only been quoted by one dentist here and that's my dentist that I usually go to. Uh, it's about between 60 and 70,000 pesos for an implant, you know, which includes the whole thing. So I don't know uh, if that's close to the same price in other places. I'll probably check around here in the next year or two because uh, um, I have three. Uh, after I get this one pulled, I'll have three teeth that have, I've had pulled in the last five years. And uh, at some point I have to say, well, maybe I should get some implants, you know. So we'll see. But it's, like I say, you don't need insurance, you don't need nothing here. Just have your cash savings. Make sure you have cash savings for emergencies, you know, for, for your medical, for your dental, all that stuff. That's all you need. You don't need insurance here. And even if you tried to use your insurance, it's, it's hard, to, hard to use it here. Most uh, places want cash. So it's just the way the whole Eastern society works. It's a freedom. The people like freedom. They don't like to be forced or tied down into something that it's totally just enriching a few. 
and that's what insurance is. And the banks, insurance companies, they're scam artists. That's exactly what they are. And it puts your faith and trust in insurance. It doesn't put your faith and trust in Christ like it should be. You know, that's what I think anyway. So, yeah. That's why I love the Philippines. It's awesome. And I needed some more, you know, I didn't have a prescription, anything. Just go to the, go to your pharmacy. There's little pharmacies all over and you can get pretty much anything that you can get in the, in the uh, first world countries you can get here. Actually, majority of the prescription drugs in the U.S. in these first world countries are made in the third world third world countries, China, India, those places, those are the places that make it. So you're, you know, that's next to home if you're going to live, if you're going to go overseas and live. So the supply chain's way better here, plus there's way bigger chance of living off the land when you're in a fishing or an agricultural community like the Philippines is. You know, it's, uh, oh, speaking of which, when we went to the beach yesterday, we had lunch at the beach and they prepared us uh, rice and uh, pork barbecue and the rice was a fresh local rice that wasn't processed and polished so all the the good nutrients on your outside of your rice which are stripped off when you they when you bring your rice to a big processing facility so they can it'll last a lot longer and they can ship it around the world right but if you, you get the local rice that's just only get the hulls off it and leave the little brown stuff that's still on the rice uh, coating that's where all your nutrients are so that's what you want you know and then if you eat that kind of rice it's uh, not only good better for you but it, it prevents uh, diabetes and all that stuff because it, then it's not so, it's so starchy, right? Yeah, you know, it's not such a huge carb anymore, carbohydrate. So that's the ticket. That's the key. You know, get get close to the land, eat from the land, harvest the land. That's that's why we're that's what we're supposed to be doing. So. Yeah, as soon as I get rid of this uh, hurting tooth, I, I'm taking antibiotics until Monday or Tuesday, then I'll go to the dentist. Maybe I'll do a quick uh, video. Maybe they'll allow me to do a quick video before I sit down in the chair to show you the, the dentist, dental facilities here. And it, there's every bit of a modern facility here than there is in the, in the States, and it's 10 times cheaper. Like I say, your back teeth, at least the dentist I go to, in which I'm on a private dentist, so he has all of that modern equipment and stuff. And you can go to, to a public dentist where the price is like half of that, but you know, you might have more pain and discomfort when they're working on you because they don't have quite the, the, the comforts that you're gonna have when you go to the private dentist here. But yeah, it's to have a, one of your front teeth pulled, that's not one of the back teeth, a, a, like a single root tooth in the front, 800 pesos. But it's uh, quite a bit more. So it, that'd be $100 US or 5,000 Philippine pesos if you got a back tooth pulled. So, but a front tooth, 800 to 1200 pesos that's about what it is for a front tooth depending on if they have trouble getting it out or whatever so i mean what's thousand pesos that's 20 bucks right so 20 bucks 100 bucks dirt cheap you do that at a dentist in the first world and you're you're paying double triple quadruple what the cost of these i've had two implants in my mouth right now i have two implants and those were, uh, that was like what? It was close to $2,000 out of my pocket. Plus it was another 3,000 that the insurance picked up. So it was 5,000 for an implant. 
in the states. And here, it's if it's let's just say it's sixty thousand. So every ten thousand is two hundred dollars, right? So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Uh, so it would be one thousand two hundred dollars here, right? So what's that? That's like it's it's three point seven times higher price in the U.S. and it's the same modern equipment here. So yeah, that's what I mean. I mean a lot of people in the U.S., including my father, went to Mexico and did got all his you know dental work done because why? Ten times cheaper. Just cash, right? That's right. Third world is cash. That's the way. That's the way it should be. Cash is private, and the only, and the cash is, is getting so worthless now in so many countries. That's why you got to have a backup of gold and silver savings, the the physical asset in your possession, that'll save you in all scenarios, in all hardships, wartime situations. Uh, it's it's a wealth an actual wealth savings. So there you'll be covered. The whole Eastern world is like that. So you won't be alone if you come to the East. And the Western world, they're gonna be SOL because the majority of the people in the US live on, in the big cities on both coasts. And the people that live in the rural interior, they're gonna be way better off when you know, stuff really hits the fan. So, I think the it's a going to be a dangerous situation for, especially America, because right now with the Belt and Road Initiative that China has going, with all the countries uh, in the East, you know, Russia, India. Iran, now Saudi Arabia, just give U.S. the snub and, and had it, and China brokered a peace deal with Iran in Saudi Arabia. That's the, it's never happened in decades, decades and decades. The Sunnis and the Shiites, you know, that's, was, I think, I'm, I'm not sure which one is which. I think the Shiites is Saudi Arabia and the Sunnis are is Iran or, or vice versa, but right, it, they're different tribes of the Muslims, and they're fight, fighting like cat and do, cats and dogs, one at each other's throats for years and years and years. And who was always fueling the fire of that of that rivalry, of that hatred between the two groups of of Muslims? Who was always fueling the fire for that? That's right, the first world countries, the U.S. and and Great Britain and all the other European countries that, because they were there to get the oil and take the wealth from, from the Muslims. And I'm just, I'm not pro anything. I'm just telling you the truth of, of history. Like I told you many times, I'm a history buff. I know what history is and says and going centuries back. Do your own research. It's just the truth. You know, I'm tired of the propaganda coming out of the, the first world countries, you know, lying to their peoples left and right and, and every which way. <clears throat> it's a sad, sad situation. You know, U.S. used to be the greatest, most wonderful and loving and kind and helpful country in the world. But ever since they took out JFK, assassinated them in 1963, the year I was born. It, it's, that was the coup. These evil people took over the government and it's gone downhill ever since. And now to, we're at the point, we're at the brink of nuclear war. I mean, it's, they've destroyed our country, destroyed America, completely destroyed it. The people should have rose up years ago, but you know, they lied and, and, and then you know, just like the Rome in the Roman days, in the in the end years of the Roman Empire, what'd they do? The big Colosseum, you know, just like in the U.S., it's all football, basketball, 
hockey, all these massive arenas to subdue the people into not looking behind the curtain, you know, of the truth, you know, giving them free money for uh, uh, welfare and and all this free government money that's been that's given to everyone, so they just the people just, you know. Look, look a blind eye away of what the truth is is going on in the country, and that's how the that's how the evil maintain power in countries, right? They lie and deceive the people <clears throat> because it's the people that create the governments. It, they're the ones in true power. Is the people, but if they're duped and they're not educated and they don't read and research their own constitutions. They deserve the government that they get. And, you know, <clears throat> that's where we are in, in this world today. And I pray to God that it can somehow be stopped, but the way it's going right now, it doesn't look good, people. That's why I escaped to the Philippines and make the best of it here. John! Hey, buddy! Hi! Hi. Yeah, John loves it. Well, it's almost dinner time, so... <clears throat> Take care, YouTubers. Love you guys. God bless.